Hello friends, it's Cheryl from the Lifestyle Digs coming to you on a Wednesday evening. It's early evening and I am just here to do another one of my pandemic blogs. And uh, today I'm going to talk about, um, it, it's Wednesday today, and in Canada we have this program, it's called the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, and it, also known as a CERB, and it pays $2,000 a month for people whose income has been affected due to the COVID-19, uh, you know, the a lot of businesses have closed down and people, a lot of employees have lost their jobs, uh, hopefully not permanently, hopefully a lot of people will be going back to work after all this uh, you know, a after all the stay at home orders have been lifted and, and the coronavirus is, is starting to um, settle down but right now a lot of people are hurting for income and yes, I am one of these people and not everybody has a regular employer. Like you go into to your your company, whatever company you work for, you work, you get a paycheck, and your employer takes various deductions off your paycheck, like for income tax, the Canada Pension Plan, employment insurance, etc. Uh, a lot of people are um, self-employed or contract workers. You know, it could be anything. It could be the people that work with racehorses at the track. Uh, it could be lawn maintenance people, and me. I. I um, just recently got a job with, with a company that uh, imports pickup trucks from Canada into America. And I'm a contract worker, so I'm a cross-border driver. So I drive the pickup trucks between Surrey, British Columbia, down to uh, Washington. About a 15-mile drive for um, to, to the company I work for. They, they have a lot down in Washington. So... <laughs> If everybody's been watching the news, you know that the land borders have been closed to non-essential travel and importing pickup trucks is not considered essential travel. So basically, I'm at a standstill, but hopefully there'll be lots of work for me in, in, in a few months once uh, once everything gets back to normal again, or as, as close to normal as, as it was before at any rate. So uh, Canada also announced that they are giving this $2,000 a month uh, Canada Emergency Response Benefit to self-employed contract workers. So um, I had a little difficulty trying to figure it out. Well, first of all, um, to, to apply on, on the Service Canada website, they are doing it by what m what month you were born. So January, February, March was Monday, um, April, May, June, Tuesday, July, August, September, Wednesday, October, November, December, Thursday, and the rest of the week, it can be any, any month that you were born. So uh, they're, they're, they're just trying to prevent the system, the website from crashing. So Wednesday is my day because I'm a September baby, and I got on to, to the website that I thought I should be at, and it asks, it has a couple of little questions it asks you. And one of the questions is, did you have, in, in 2019, did you have employ, you know, em, employment income of over $5,000? And y yes, I did. I, 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 I had a regular company I was working for. And, uh, I, I, you know, I, it was a contract position, but I was getting deductions off my paycheck. And that job ended last year. Sadly for me, I really, I really liked working there. I would have loved to have stayed on but it was not to be. So I, I applied for employment insurance and I was getting benefits and I was looking for work. I must have had 30 job interviews and for, over the last year and just, just nothing is turning up. People, ageism is alive and well in Canada and I just wasn't, you know, I was getting interviews, I have a good resume. And I, I'm a very experienced office administrator but, you know, people, you know, I walk in the door and they're rather dismayed at this old lady who's walking in the door. And I just never hear from them again. So I, I, I finally got a position in, in February. I was offered a position as, as a contract driver. And so it's basically self-employed, but you work as contract. So I signed a, a contract to be a contract cross-border driver. And I got a few shifts in in March before the borders closed. And um, so, so you know, luckily for me, I did have one one pay period, and um, and I'm shut down. Basically, I'm shut down. So I I was on kind of we're, we're on the Service Canada site. I was I was heading you know answering the questions. Yes, I had employable income over five thousand dollars in two thousand nineteen. So I went that way, and they were trying to aim me towards the employment insurance benefit program, which is also issuing the, the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, the CERB. 
but I, I know I wouldn't be uh, uh, eligible because I've already used up my employment insurance benefits after I lost my job last year, and 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 they've run their course. So I, I get out of there. It take it like I say, it takes me about ten minutes to figure this one out. And um, what I had to do was I had to go to my Service Canada account, and yes, I do have an account, and it's. it's pretty easy to, to sign up and register and people would go to that account if they're collecting employment insurance benefits or they want to see what their Canadian pension plan what what approximately what they'll be getting when they retire and um, so this is where you go you log in or you sign up for a new account if you don't have one oh th this is where you go if, if you're a self-employed contract worker so what you do is you log in and there will be uh, one of the links you click it says to go to the CRA website and that's the Canada Revenue Agency that's like Canada's uh, version of the IRS and from there you click on that um, and it was very quick. It, it, I, I was probably done there in, in, in less than five minutes. And um, basically it just says, are, are, are your, has your employment income dried up because of the COVID-19? And yes. And then it says, um, there was a bunch of stuff to read. It says if you're making a false claim for the $2,000 CERB, you will have to repay it. Do you understand? Yes, and then um, and then it checked my banking information for, for direct deposit because I I've I've been in the past the CRA has has my banking information so they can deposit any refund checks I get at tax time and also for the GST rebate that we get in Canada so uh, yeah I looked at it looks good so I'll click uh, agree and then it says uh, two thousand dollars will be deposited to your bank account within uh, three days so I'm looking forward to that some people have actually said uh, have, have got their payments the people that applied on Monday are already seeing the two thousand in their account today and some people are saying they're seeing four thousand because it's retroactive to March 15th so the government did respond to that for because it was on the news and it said yes we we're, we're doing the one month retroactive plus we're, we're just getting caught up giving them and their, their second month of the $2,000, which would start uh, about mid-April. So we're just sort of getting the, some of those out of the way early. So some people will only get $2,000, but in another week they'll get another $2,000. Some people are getting the whole $4,000 right now. So that, that's how my morning started. I wanted to get that out of the way right away and make sure that, that all was looking good. And I, I did write a blog post about it today, so I'll provide the link in my description so you can go there and click through for some more information. And then the rest of the morning, I, I took my saddle out to the farm and I rode my horse for a little bit. Uh, Cajun, he, he uh, while we were down in the pasture, he noticed that there was a man walking down there. He's a fellow that lives on the property. But Cajun seemed to take exception to this man walking in the pasture and he started to behave a little stupid. But this horse will take any opportunity to play stupid. So I turned him around the opposite way so I couldn't see the man anymore. But, you know, I could feel him. I, I could feel he was, he was kind of building up for an explosion and I was getting kind of concerned I was I was uh, you know I didn't you know there's it's a 20 acre pasture there's a lot of room for him to run and I didn't really want him to take off of me you know I'm an old lady now I don't want to take a fall off a horse at a fast speed and uh, I was almost thinking about jumping off him but but I got him settled somewhat and and back up to the barn and, and that was it. I, I, I'm one of these people, I know when to get off a horse and uh, and just call the ride, the ride's over. I'm, I'm not all about showing that horse who's boss. I'm all about keeping myself safe. Just like in the age of coronavirus, I'm keeping myself safe and healthy and social distancing and washing my hands and stuff. So a uh, pretty quiet day for me. I came home and had my lunch and I wrote up a blog post and uh, and uh, been taking it pretty easy, walking my dogs around uh, the property where I live. So I just wanted to update everybody about the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. It is available for people who are self-employed and contract workers. And like I say, I'm really lucky. They, when, when I applied, there's the other thing, they did not ask for any proof of, of where I'm working or any pay stubs or anything like that. But I do have I do have all that, <laughs> and and it's no big secret to anybody that the that the land borders between USA and Canada have closed. So um, if if you're looking for more information on how you can apply, if you think you're eligible, I'm going to just put a link in the description to my blog post today about the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. So you too can apply for two thousand dollars a month, which I believe is a four month program right now. 
So uh, anyway, there it is. Happy Wednesday. I'm looking forward to watching Survivor tonight. So uh, this is Cheryl from Lifestyle Digs saying goodbye, everybody. Stay health. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.